now we are successfully connected with the database it's time to validate this value and save them in the database okay we don't want user to add first name a very short first name or very short last name or an invalid email or we don't want user to have password less than eight characters and we want we we need user to confirm its password and we don't want user to leave image empty okay we want user to enter everything valid okay first we will validate first name we just what we need to do, just use if else okay nothing else nothing anything else okay I'm gonna create a global variable error and I'm I'm gonna leave this empty in this error variable we will save the error okay we will save the error that occurs okay let's validate it let's validate these, validate these values first let's check the length of this first name string length str len means string length this function is used to check the length of a, of a string you can say yeah string less than 3 yeah if it is less than 3 we want to we, we want user to add his first name the first name we want user to add his name more than 3 characters okay and I'm gonna give the error first name is too short okay and we're gonna do the same for last name last name is too short now first name last name both are you can say validated we will display the errors above the wrapper here okay here here in this space we will display the errors in this space okay now it's time to validate email we use filter var function to validate variables okay filter we use filter var variable and first thing we need to provide variable okay in which we are gonna do validation which is email we have in here email okay we're gonna validate email okay and the second parameter is the case okay case you can say or you can say what we, we want to do okay we want to filter email just write filter underscore validate underscore email we are basically saying that this is the variable and filter it okay and this variable have the or uh, this variable has the email address and filter it using filter validate email okay you can also use sanitize sanitize filter sanitize email is used to sanitize the email it will remove all the special characters that are in the email okay but we don't want that some people have characters in their email address and we don't want to remove them we want their email to be as it is they have okay just filter it if user have not entered correct email just ask him to enter correct email okay we're gonna say oops please enter valid email address yeah okay these three ha are done now it's time to check password if string length we don't want user to enter password less than six seven or eight character anything you want okay it's in small character, yeah. 
less than eight. Yeah. I'm gonna say oops. Eight characters. Password must be greater than eight characters. Okay, if password is greater than eight characters, then what we're gonna do? We're gonna check if this password and password confirm are the same. Equals equal equals. Now I will tell you why I use three equals. Okay. Okay, we use these three equal signs to make sure that user enters the same email that is in this password field. Okay, we want it to have to be case sensitive. Okay, if user entered the password in capital characters, we want it to enter in the capital characters in the password confirm field. We don't want it to enter the same password but in in other case. Okay, we want it to enter the in the same case that he entered in the first field. Okay what we want it to be in the case sensitive okay i'm gonna say error is equal to password does not match okay fair enough okay if password matches what we're gonna do we're gonna check for image if image is empty that means if user has has not entered has, has not uploaded his image please upload your image okay everything is done in the else part what we're gonna do we're gonna say error you are registered because everything is validated and now we're gonna say you are registered successfully registered okay so now let's check this if it's working correctly and then we will save this in the database uh, one thing we're forgetting is we are not displaying the error variable we're not echoing out okay let's echo this out uh, you are successfully registered you can see this is not an error you are successfully registered this is not an error you are saying that we are saying that you are successfully registered but uh, the variable name is error uh, you can change this variable if you want you can make two variable one is for success and one one is for error but it doesn't matter it will work the same it will work great okay you don't need to be worried okay or you can say response okay you can say response just response variable that will make sense it just doesn't make sense but it is it will work it will work correctly okay before wrapper i'm going to display the errors first i'm going to make a div and i'm going to give an id I'm gonna say error because this div is the error div where errors will be displayed let's give it a little bit of styles quickly oops this is connect.php remove it we don't need it now error width 1000 pixels oops not 100 1000 margin your pixel at all okay so now let's check this out if our form is working good okay i'm gonna write first name usman my last name Ralph. email address email that i have write it earlier i'm gonna write password 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 and i'm gonna upload an image same image i'm gonna submit oops 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 there's an error call to undefined function oops you can see i did not spell that correctly 
it is I wrote wrong it is not filler war it is filter war okay f i l t e r filter okay sorry for that let me go back so now let's echo the error here php echo error Mm. filter okay make sure this is filter war okay not filler war I, I i wrote wrong earlier just write filter underscore war make sure it is filter not filler okay i could that out okay let's refresh this and check this out password I'm gonna choose the image that is on my desktop here it is I'm gonna submit password does not match why it is saying password does not match let me check if there is something wrong oops sorry 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 I don't know how you forgot that this is not not equal equals okay if password not equal equals password confirm okay sorry for that I don't know how you made this huge mistake I'm saying that if password does not match to password confirm make sure you write double equal and one exclamation sign uh, exclamation sign because we we want to conf we want to confirm that the, c the user enters the same case we want to case sensitive it okay so now let me re redo that password same for re-enter password Submit. yeah you're successfully registered yes it's working great okay if I enter the first name less than two characters okay let's see what it says I'm gonna do everything else okay uh, and, I'm, and I'm gonna upload the image submit see first name is too short the same things for the last name now I'm gonna uh, you can test this out and tell me if something doesn't work but I know everything will be working I'm gonna check for uh, I'm gonna check for the image if it does not upload the image let's see what it says please upload your image it means it's working correctly okay let's check the last name I want to test this in front of your eyes so everything I want everything to work great I'm gonna say a B okay this is too short less than three characters let's submit this and it says last name is too short okay refresh the page okay so go so you guys know how to validate these values thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next video and in the next video we will add these values in the database